In this question, we can be pleased to see that it deals with even and odd numbers. Because there are rules that apply to arithmetic operations with these numbers, and you don't even really have to remember the rules, as long as you remember they exist, because you can easily try numbers to recall them. We want to know specifically whether m minus 1 is even, or in other words, whether m is odd. Let's start by looking at statement 1 alone. We're told it's given to us as a fact that m plus 3 is even. So one possible case is that m plus 3 equals 6. In this case, m equals 3 and m is odd. The answer to the question is yes. Another possible case is that m plus 3 equals 8. In that case, m is a different value, but it's still odd. And the answer to the question is still yes. We can see, in fact, that this must always be the case. It's a rule of odd and even integers that the only way to add an odd number with another number and get an even number is if that missing number is also odd. Therefore, statement one is sufficient. Statement two gives us a different piece of information, but logically it's the exact same thing. We're able to infer that the number must be odd. Therefore, both statements are sufficient individually, and the correct answer is D.